It is a little bit chilly and breezy on this April 27th morning. And we're out at Beaumont Park. And we're going to start off on Sideshow Bob and then uh, make our way west, maybe do some 12 mile coulee and stuff like that. It'll be a fun morning. Okay, here we are on Sideshow Bob. This park is always busy with walkers, which is why we have the people bell on the bike. It actually really works well to give people a heads up that we're coming. And they tend to be off the trail by the time we get to them. doing some work fixing up those little bridges. Hanging her right. Park, yeah, I did a lap on the, at the bike park. Going through these little narrow thickets of trees, I hooked my wide handlebars going about 40k an hour and man oh man do you come off the bike in a hurry when you do that. So I've got a little bit narrower bar on this bike. I'm running a 780 on this bike. My Yeti I run an 800. And the fat bike's an 800 as well. So all of Beaumont Park looks directly south and for the most part it's all exposed which makes it a really good spot early season because it dries out before anything else does. We had rain this week and you'd never know it from what's here. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this is the theme of this place. Lots of punchy climbs, followed by fun descents.
So that's straight across the river there is Canada Olympic Park and the Wind Sport Center. And Canada Olympic Park is where we hosted the 88 Olympics here with the ski jumping and everything. And Wind Sport is part of their continuous development in that area. And it's actually been a really well utilized space versus some of these Olympic venues that you see around the world that just get abandoned after the games. So it's actually really good. They host all kinds of stuff there. Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Curling was there just this past winter. So Ivan's riding his fatty because he's hard on equipment and he broke his XC bike. And it's been in the shop for like two weeks. And I still can't keep up with him. There you can. You did the other day. I'm still deciding if you're Ivan the Terrible or Ivan the Horrible today. <laughs> Ivan the Average. <laughs> Ivan the Average. <laughs> One more. It'd be nice. Huh? Like you get clipped in. Yeah. This thing is steep. Lock out the front fork so it doesn't get hopping. That's a steep one. It is. And a little bumpy too. <laughs> Probably over half of what we've been riding today I've never ridden before. Tim knows his way around here really, really well. Showing me some new trails, that's always fun. Now we're gonna go under a couple of tunnels. Still heading west. These tunnels go under Stony Trail and we're on our way to 12 Mile Cooley, which is on the south end of Tuscany. Here's our drop-in for 12 Mile Cooley. It's surprisingly dry in here. Other than a couple of mucky spots in the bottom, it's pretty tacky and good. There's kind of three main trails that run through this coulee. One straight up the bottom, and then there's this west slope and the east slope. So it actually makes it kind of fun because it's not a super big area, just this section for 12 mile, but you can lap it and really uh, make it a fun little session. Man, it's nice in here. I saw Kelly turn right there. That is deceptively grippy. Yeah. Totally. Like it looked like it was gonna be wet, but it was just tacky goodness. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. That's... Hi, the beaver. <laughs> I 
And that is the end of 12 Mile Coulee. Now we turn around and head back. Really good ride today. Amazing conditions.